Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to print the string of text view, the content of any of a text view using the printers which I already added in your Android phone, Android device, or the default PDF printer from your Android app. So let's begin. You create a new project, name this as print text view. You can name it anything. Let's all things I leave it as it is. And you click finish and wait for the environment to load. Once the environment loads, I will also start my emulator in parallel on the right hand side. I don't think I need any of the files thing, so I will go straight to the layout design. Over here, yeah, we will use this text view and probably we will also need a button to print this. So, I will just put some text on the button, say for example, print text view, okay, so in parallel my app will also come up. I will just invite it for a time being. Yeah, now coming back to button, I have given the constraints and just position somewhere. So in this text, I will give it some ID first of all. And also I will increase the size of the text here. So say for example, all this doesn't matter because I think, yeah. Uh, and I will give some custom uh, text here instead of hello world. So I will say hello my channel programmer world this is a sample text view content content yeah perfect probably if you want you can resize it also so instead of wrap content height in width so probably I shall change the width to setting to 50 dp and Probably I can use this also, right? Something like this, yeah. Okay, so my text view has come up now. Uh, I think in terms of layout, I'm done. I'll go to Java code. I'll create, we'll create a public void method for my button on click attribute button print text view view view, and I'll go back to my layout and associate this. Okay, I think button. Print text view. This is what I wanted. In fact, yeah. And now in this uh, on-click attribute of this particular button, I'll associate it with the particular method which we just now defined. Also, I'll create a text view a local class variable text view and assign it or associate it with the widget find it by id r dot id dot text view. Perfect. So now once everything is done, so now I can start my coding. So first and foremost, in the code, what I'll do is I'll fetch the content of uh, text view in a string, text view, string, text view, and that I can do by using text view dot get text. I don't think it's required to string, but yeah, it's always better. Now I'll convert this text view content which is string into a web view. So web view. And what I can do is I can create something called as new web view context will be this of course and then in this web view there is a API called load data and in this the first is the string the second is the mime type so this basically we will have the HTML right so text forward slash HTML and then the character encoding. Character encoding will keep it the UTF-8 as standard one. UTF-8. But now, once we have done this, we can call the print manager on this particular print manager on this web view. So let me first define get system service print service is what I need. It may ask me to type first. So just do that. Yeah. And then in this print manager, I will need something called as print document editor. Yeah. Print document editor. And this is what I can create from my web view dot create document adapter. And the it asks for the name of the document. So that we can say text view print print demo. Okay, and uh, once we have it, then 
what we can do is we can just simply call in the print measure something called print and the first num uh, input is the job name the job name you can give anything probably text view print test and then second will be the document interpreter which we just now created above and then last attribute uh, last one will be the attribute so that you can just create a empty attributes new print attributes dot builder dot build yeah so that's all i guess now i can run and see how it comes up perfect so my app has come up and the text is here so let me just quickly click on this and see how what it happens so i'm expecting to yeah i was expecting to pop it up uh, this printer uh, thing and it gives me option either i save as a pdf which is like the default printer or if there are more printers added to a device it will show it up here since it's an emulator it's not showing up and if you see here the text is here probably it's really small so it may not be it may be difficult to Realize I have done the zoom, so let's see if it's no visual. Yeah, but once we print, I think it will be more visual. So let me quickly print it. So let me click on this, and it asks me to give the file name and save it. By default, it gives the download folder. That's good. So I'll just and the file name it takes it takes is from this one. Uh, yeah, this document name over here. So I just click save here, and it will take a while to save. I think it was pretty quick because it's a small document. I'll go to the downloads folder, open this PDF. Of course, it's very small. Or I can do one thing. Yeah. So if you are able to observe, or I'll do one thing. I'll zoom it also. And if you are able to observe, this is the exactly the test what we have given in our text view. So that's all I wanted to show you uh, how one can print any content. So by default, the print document adapter is a API on the web view. So you may have to first convert them into web view if there is any other content. Uh, using whatever uh, yeah type you want, and then you can call the print command uh, on this print uh, document adapter, which is from the view you have created. So this is the method of or approach how you can print your text view from the default printer or the printer photo device. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put it in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day.